back to Good Morning Sri Lanka. We are back with uh, the legendary icon, as we previously mentioned, Karin Almeida, and we have a lot more questions to ask her, and uh, so many things that we discussed behind stage as well. A yes. lot more questions. We're, yes. we're talking oh, about. I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> Well, mind yourself at school because okay. Jason's here. That's okay. what we do. We teach headmaster? people. Headmaster? Yes. Uh, no. He would make a very bad headmaster, actually. I, I would make a very good, just a regular teacher. Okay. Not the headmaster. One that, the cool teacher. I don't cool think teacher. he can be cool. in charge of anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just All right. Okay. So now your error in uh, the Gypsies band. Yes. Let's talk about that. Okay. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, it happened in 1990. Right. 91, to be precise. Um. That was a tour to Oman that happened first, and um, that was the whole beginning of my journey with the Gypsies okay. for 12 years. Wow. So how did you meet um, the band? We used to be playing uh, lots of dinner dances together when I sang with Somerset, Okay. band called oh. Somerset. Uh, lots of dance, I mean, you need, they go with two bands or a band and DJ for, right. for always a dinner dance. Then, um, so wait, did they steal you from Somerset? <laughs> oh, my god, no, they did. <laughs> what have you done? No, 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 they didn't steal. Maybe she this, jumped into it. No, 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 this was this was you know, the guys who worked who played for Somerset, yeah. they were all doing day jobs. Ah, ah, okay, and I was the only one who was doing music full as time. a full time, yeah. Right. So, when when we played all these dances together, uh, gypsies didn't have a female. And they were looking for one, I guess, for mainly for that tour to Oman ah. okay. in that year, in 91 November. I still remember that. And then what Sunil was looking for in a female was to handle the English and Sinhala both, right. which I had. I was doing already with, with Somerset. Otherwise, what they did was they used to, they told me that they, you know, used to take, um, I think a couple of times, if I'm not mistaken, Noeline and mm. you know, then mm. also another singer or singer yeah, with yeah, Noeline yeah. to handle. Then it was a bit of a issue with tickets and you know how these organizers, they don't want to spend too much money on, <laughs> 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 on the air tickets and all that. Right. <laughs> so that's when I um, was spotted and invited um, to, tag along. to get on that, on that tour. Right. And I did an amazing job, I was told. Okay. Mm. In Oman, <laughs> they were very happy. The people were happy, and and then quietly um, started giving me uh, the other regular work as well. In in back, I mean here in Sri Lanka too. And then of course, after maybe six months or a couple of months, I was uh, a permanent member in the band. Member in the band. Worked for twelve years. Wow. That's a long, amazing. That is amazing. That's a long I can journey. see the glow in your face when you're talking about it. I mean, I really, <laughs> really yes. enjoyed my my. Um, time with the gypsies because right. I learned a lot. Mm. Right. I learned a lot because, you know, I, though I used to sing Sinhala songs, I didn't, I wasn't exposed to a crowd like that. But at that time, in that, that period, I'd like traveled the whole country right. mm. from Mahiangana to <laughs> Badulla to Norelia wow. to uh, Vaunia to Anuradhapura to you name it, mm. I was yeah. there like with them. Mm -hmm. So that was a whole new experience for me. Mm. And me being a burger, and you know, although I sang Sinhala, yes. I wasn't, and I didn't know how to even, I learned a lot from Sunil how to, today I'm, I'm very happily entertaining a crowd, you know, lots of things I've learned from, mm. from right. uh, Sunil and, you know. Going back to that concert in uh, Oman, Oman, if I'm correct, um, the mo do you remember what you saw in the crowd? Now, they must have been a massive crowd there. It was a massive crowd right. at the Sheraton poolside. Right. I remember Mostly that. Sri Lankan or? Sri Lankans, ah, yeah. yeah. It's see. mainly for the uh, working crowd there. Right. Um, well, of course, we had an exclusive, uh, we had a dinner dance the previous, on Thursday mm -hmm. nights, mm -hmm. always a dinner dance for a more upmarket crowd. Right. And then the Friday is the show for all the, you know. The working yeah. crowd. Right. So, that was a huge crowd. It was at the Sheraton. Uh, pool side that they normally have it, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was. It, I, I really that that was something really new to me, and you know, singing with Somerset, singing right. just you know for the dancers and and weddings and all this stuff that I was doing into this kind of yeah, just throwing that yeah. Mm. yeah. But I handled myself pretty well, yeah. and then I'm I was sure you did no, you know they told me you know yeah. you, you just did a great job, yes. and I was like Indeed. oh yeah, I, <laughs> I yes kind of I am, <laughs> and then she walks yeah. up all happy. <laughs> That, that shows that this is what you're born to do. I think when you figure out what your passion is, yeah. I don't think you should worry about how worry you present about how yourself. Correct. Yeah. That is true. I think we have a 
a couple of pictures of yes, Corinne on stage itself. Let's take a look at those pictures, <laughs> shall we? Oh, oh well, that's it, Noeline. <laughs> ah, hello. <laughs> look at that. Wow. I love your hair. That's the early that's days. That's beautiful. Yeah. That Thank is the. Uh, I, I wish I had a time machine right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the that's, that's the. Oh, that's the crowd. That's mm. Very nice. So, this is the. Uh, the first time that you were with the gypsies or like did you guys have this picture taken later on later a little bit later on mm -hmm. right this was the first tour we did to london ah. to uk dude i love the style back then <laughs> that is what and i'm talking so about and that's so in that's so in right now is as it well really? yeah, yeah it is it I is no okay. but not not among everybody but okay. you know certain people they can carry it off very well oh there another picture with this is a recent one with marie zell oh ah, yeah at desmond's concert actually mm -hmm. in okay. the gumbo ah are you, is that a s spotted white leopard bandana? Thing on my hair. <laughs> Brilliant. That's with Yasmin at Manilal's concert. Manilal was in town about a year ago. I yes, I, I think I heard of that. Yeah. Yes, of course. Again, your hairstyles have changed so much. I, oh, I love it. I just love changing my hair. Oh, look that's at that. That's, that's, oh, that's in Melbourne. Yes. Yeah. With the... Um, a band from there that's Carl. I don't remember. I think Skyline or Sky something. <laughs> and uh, Chitral Chitral and Maxi. So <laughs> oh, and wow. Look at him. He's. I, I, I need to go <laughs> ask that guy. What have you done, been doing? Like, because you look the same since, like, if you look at a picture of him, like, way back then. Yes, he so looks the just same. the what same. What is he doing? What is his secret? What is, it? What is his secret? I'll let you know. <laughs> I'll talk to him and if let you can you ask him. Oh, yeah. Exactly. I'll just go up to his door and knock and be like, please tell me what it is. What is this? <laughs> Anyways, uh, all right, so the gypsies, right after the gypsies. And uh, what made you leave? In 2003, hmm. yes. So 91 to 2003. Um, by the time, thanks to Sunil once again, I was getting very. Um, exposed to a lot of, you know, um, I was invited on my own as well from various countries for various shows with yes. other bands, okay. with all the oriental bands, you know, that go. And he never objected to it. Okay. So he always gave me the green light to go and, you know, perform. Right. But somewhere down the line, there was a void here then, uh, you know? Yeah. So that is when uh, Lulu and Ginger came into the band. Okay. Because by the time they were very much used to a female. Right. Although right. they didn't have one at the beginning. Uh, and it wasn't fair by me too. I mean, you know. Yeah. All of a sudden I'm not there and then, you know, sometimes mm -hmm. even they g do get a tour or, or work here. Yeah. That's when Lulu and Ginger stepped in and then I thought, okay, it's high time and I, I'd like, I mean 12 years was mm -hmm. a long time. Mm -hmm. I wanted to uh, branch do something, out again. branch out and do something different and go, go solo. Yeah. And that's when I decided all of a sudden I don't have any, anything of my own, right. my mm -hmm. own material, right. my own songs. And that's when I um, launched my first CD, Alut Okay. Mm -hmm. Did the CD uh, and you know. That's amazing. That was the birth of yeah. that that whole whole thing. Wow. Idea. That's amazing. All right. Uh, now, what, did you guys leave in good terms? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We still we still you know talk to each other and we still I perform with them a couple of times too. Not that much, uh, but uh, yeah, we're okay. We, we still talk. Okay. You saw the career then after after like the gypsies went on. Yeah. After the gypsies, I did my um, solo work mm -hmm. for a while. Um, and then I realized I, I did many other work. I mean, reality shows on ma various TV channels and did a lot of work. Right. Then I realized I want to do something else, start my own band. And that I did in 2010, right. October. And that I wanted to do with my brother. Right. But at the time he wasn't in the country, he was with Dalrin in Doha. Okay. And your brother Qatar. is Kevin, Kevin Almeida. Kevin mm -hmm. Almeida. Yeah. He had his own bands too, many, many bands, Exit, uh, Sold Out, uh, so many bands he, he led and, and he was, but I had this um, urge and the liking to do music with my brother. Right. 
to, you know... Keep I it mean, in the family sort of thing that would that has a better wife. I, yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So, um, you know, I wanted to do it for a long time, but then, you know, you may want to do certain things, but then the right time has to also come for you yeah. to <laughs> do the thing. Then I somehow started it without him into 10 October, knowing that he would, and leaving room for him to get in. Okay. And, and exactly after three months, he did get it, <laughs> got on board, and then still there we worked together. Of course, I started my band as um, Corinne and the Beatbox. Right. Um, Why the Beatbox? Was I don't know. Th no, that was just a name that my son, Brandon, okay. I was looking for names, and he gave me like a whole <laughs> heap of names. Okay. And then, I like uh, that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I'm going to take, Brandon. <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> so I, I, I settled for that name. And then after about a year, I had a few changes in the band and, and um, sadly I lost my bass guitarist, Asiri Gunavardhana. Right. While I was playing at R&B actually, he played the second or third set and, and right. he um, just, you know, passed away. And a few members changed, a few things happened and then also I wasn't performing uh, on regular uh, places I, I wasn't, you know, really performing. Right. Because my brother can do that, and you know, that wasn't really my cup of tea, too. Right. Because um, you've done that. You've done that I'm way back. Yeah. And now you're so and <laughs> so I told him, you know, something that that five people can do. It's no point, you know, the sixth one going there. Of course, a dance is a different thing, okay. yeah. or a concert is a different yeah. thing. But playing in a club or a pub or something, you know, or a lobby, yeah. mm. uh, he can handle it. Yeah. Even up to date, he plays. I mean, they play at the Hilton lobby every Thursday, Friday, and at the FDOs on Wednesday, Saturday. If we are not, if we are not working outside, right, in the weekends. Okay. Um, then we decided. Corinne and the wouldn't apply because <laughs> Corinne is not there. Where is Corinne? <laughs> my Corinne? God. It's just it's the beatbox. It's just the beatbox. <laughs> so then we decided, my brother said, let's go for a change in a name. Yeah. I said, fine. I said, you come up with one. And then he was thinking for a while and he said, how about Burn? Because we used to have a band by the name of Burn okay. right. in the, I think, um, 80s, late 80s, 90s, I guess, yeah. Um, Ashok Jaisinghe was leading that band and now he's in Melbourne mm -hmm. and my brother used to be the guitarist of the oh, band. Right, okay. So I just fired a call or I think wrote to him on FB or whatever and you know said I have you know decided to do this is it all right and yeah. he said yeah why not sure like you know. Keep the burn name going, going on. <laughs> so that's how burn came about. Mm -hmm. Burn. Burning. <laughs> we are you, burning. You could have so many great like like catchphrases for burn <laughs> like whenever somebody calls you oh we'd like you to perform for this you'd be like careful you might get burned <laughs> actually brandon my son he he gave me a lovely tagline also he said blaze with burn Ooh, how that yeah for a very nice. one of my posters that i was you know you should enter it into a it, whenever you're performing you just random fire just in the back <laughs> <laughs> and walking then in walking. slow motion and then take your mic Plus out. It, just yeah, like into good idea. <laughs> I'm going ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's a good idea. I should maybe be your manager. Yeah, maybe. why not? I should yeah. do. I think about it. <laughs> no, okay, that's never gonna happen. Anyway, <laughs> uh, let's. Uh, now you you came out with a new single, uh, and a yeah. new music video. Yes, this came out. Can you tell us a bit about that? Yeah, that was very different to the usual stuff that I do in the in the oriental field, right. the singular stuff. Because I don't know, for some reason, everybody, like, I'm known to have this kind of, you know, um, I don't like to be called, like, just baila baila, but all right. up-tempo, fast music. Yeah. So I wanted something different, and I came up, you know, one of my friends, Suresh, he had this melody, and he wanted to know, because I had told him to uh, do me uh, something, you know, do me a song, and then he said, come and check this out, and if you like it, you can... So I like the melody. Uh, he wrote half of it and I wrote half of it. Okay. And that's how the song came about. What is the name of the song? It's called Tava Ekasarayak. Tava And I did Ekasarayak. a simple, simple video. 